What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Siobhan. I post tech and lifestyle content, but I know you guys have been waiting for the car shopping vlog and also the car reveal. So I will be buying a car in the next week, couple weeks or next month. I'm trying to find one. I already know what car I'd like to get. It's the Mercedes-Benz Silly 45, the BMW i4 M50 or a Tesla Model Y Performance or the Polestar 3. But yeah, I don't want to keep you guys up too long. I just want to jump right into the video. But first and foremost, I just want to say thanks to everyone that's, you know, always supported me, shared the videos, to even put me in a position to be looking for a car is surreal. So I want to say thank you. Also, this video is just to show you guys the experience of me just shopping for a car. This is just like a mini series. And it's, it's actually funny how like different dealerships treat you different. You know, I went into certain dealerships, they're like, they don't even care because they're like, bro, he's not buying any car. He's just looking around wasting time. He has a camera. He doesn't care. So some dealerships were nicer than some and we'll talk about it. But yeah, let's jump into the video and let's go car shopping. Day one of car shopping, I went to Polestar. Ever since I've test drove the Volvo XC90 and just how comfortable it is, how safe the car was, I definitely had to check out what the Polestar 2 had to offer. Now this dealership was in downtown Toronto. The vibes were immaculate. The people working inside of this dealership were super nice. And as I said before, this is a branch off of Volvo. So you guys might not know Polestar. It's like their sports car, you know, kind of brand. And it's like fully electric cars. The overall shopping experience at Polestar was very smooth. They had everything front and center on even this digital display that showed us like the different options we could get. Finance options if you want to buy options right or not there was also a showcase area where you could feel the different textures of the materials that they're using and also just the paint finish as well which i thought was a really nice touch to see what it would actually look like before you order in your spec and it was also super easy to book a test drive i did it a couple days in advance and now we're here today i wasn't even planning on vlogging because i was like who really watched a car shopping video, but I was like, I'm just gonna do the reveal. The might, car reveal, but I might as well give them the might experience. As well. You might as well, you might as well. Because let, let like, them be curious to see what we get. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's a journey. Yeah. You're trying to show what happens in the journey. Okay. For sure, for sure, for sure. Silas, Pulsar Specials here at Pulsar Toronto. It's gonna help us out. This yeah. YouTube channel has 230k. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, Famous. it's your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> kilometers an hour it'll uh, kind of make a slight noise just to let people know you're around because it's so quiet otherwise you see it's low it's a bit smoother you probably will have to use the brakes at times and then of course you can turn it off as well i love the infotainment system it's very intuitive like we have people of all, yeah it's like a big ass kind of phone <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, right? The Polestar 2 was a really nice car coming in at around 53,000 Canadian dollars. You get a lot for that price. The driving quality was very smooth and had great handling. Just look at me just eating up this Audi Q5 right here. It's really quick. I was driving the dual motor version, which is the fastest one they have, which is a little bit more expensive. It makes up to 402 horsepower and goes to 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Not as fast as the Tesla performance models, but it's still very quick compared to most cars on the road. Interior quality was A1, very nice. It's very bright and airy in the cabin thanks to that glass roof up top. I loved the gear shifter and the seats were super comfortable. The screen was also really responsive. There's nothing really I dislike about this car except that I wish where the digital dash was, it displayed more information. But aside from that, it's a very good looking car inside and out. It performs well too. The infrastructure for quick charging might be tricky. So for right now, that's my only concern. All right, just wrapped up the test drive in the poster. Nice small boy right here. Fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate the time. But yeah, it was smooth. I feel like this is on the, the hit list for sure, top three. The black on black too. Super clean, but yeah, we still have to check out a couple other cars, so we'll see. Okay, so day two, we're here at the downtown Toronto BMW dealership, and my eyes are just laid on this BMW i4 M50. It's just such a beautiful car. The M50 version starts at 75,990 Canadian dollars, which is honestly 
kind of not bad for what you're getting what i like about the i4 models is that even though it's a fully electric car making up to 536 horsepower it doesn't screams ev it still looks like a regular m4 but instead it's all electric and it does have those blue highlights around the trims of the car which a lot of people might not like trying to get a test drive for this was nearly impossible the sales rep at the downtown toronto location didn't take me serious because i had like my camera out and i guess i looked young so they're like yo what is this guy doing they you know any inquiry i had they're like yo yo blah blah any more questions etc blah blah they didn't really actually seriously try to like get me in the car get me a test drive they're saying if you want to get a test drive you have to put down like a deposit and actually start an application run a credit check to drive the car which is kind of ridiculous but i said before it's my first time car shopping so i don't know if that's regular protocols this is literally almost cheaper than the tesla model y if it's not a little bit cheaper plus we get the sunroof i just feel like i'm getting more for my money going with bmw you get a nice little LED light strips going right across here too. It feels more like a luxurious car and the Tesla, it, it doesn't give me that same feeling. Since I couldn't get a test drive in, apparently they're limited on stock and this car won't ship for another year or so, which is kind of a bummer, but I still went to another BMW dealership just to see how the car feels like and how it performs and also stopped at a Mercedes dealership as well. All right, day two here back at BMW. I really just wanted to see if I could get a test drive for the i4 M50. I see some nice cars out here. BMW is one of my favorite car brands, dream car. So let's go inside, it's super hot. You guys have test drive for the i4 M50? Do you have driving license? Yeah. Oh, do I? I have to be the most unlucky person in the world. I don't freaking have my, my license and it's available for freaking test drive. Holy driver's lesson guys holy ah uh, and i think that's the only one available every bmw i went to nobody has it so so yeah stupid me i forgot to bring my wallet i don't know how i forgot my wallet on the day when i'm supposed to do the test drive but thankfully michael the sales rep at vaughn bmw dealership was kind enough to bring me on a test drive even though i didn't get to drive it i still experienced what the car felt like and it's super powerful really fun to drive and it even made some cabin noise whenever you accelerated it literally sounds like a spaceship but the only issue i'm having with this car is the wait list so they're saying that it's an 18 month wait list and 18 to 24 months oh okay yeah and also sometimes you have like people who cancel their order so i should just put my email down and they'll send an email if anyone cancels their order and want to take over like that delivery but right now i'm not sure you know i would be sitting down here just waiting waiting and i need a car for the winter times so let's go ahead and still shop around day two today's gonna be a special day i'm gonna check out my dream car this is probably my dream car since 2018 you guys probably already know what it is if not you're in for a surprise. Let's go. All right, so we're at the Tesla dealership. Let's go, we're gonna test drive the Model Y Performance. So this is the one I wanted because I'm kind of taller. So I'm excited to see how it drives. Ties behind the camera. Oh shit. <laughs> Ties behind the camera, so he's gonna experience the, the, the performance force real quick. So let's go. At this point, I'm confused as to which day it is, but nevertheless, we're here at the Tesla dealership to test drive the Model Y Performance. By now, everyone's supposed to know what a Tesla is and how it performs, but I love these cars because of just how simple and easy it is to use, especially if you're a tech nerd like me, you'd love these cars. The Model Y Performance starts at 90,000 Canadian dollars, and honestly, that's really expensive, and if you want to add self-driving and all those autopilot things, it could get pricey and add up to around $120,000. But on the flip side, you're paying for one of the best, if not the best EV car in the world right now when it comes to reliability, safety, and the charging infrastructure right around the world supercharging is actually insane you could go from zero to 80 percent in just 30 minutes but here in canada that would cost you around 20 to 25 dollars the performance model is also rapid it goes from zero to 16 just 3.5 seconds i was having so much fun driving this during my test drive session the tesla dealership was totally different in terms of the experience whenever you walk in you have to book your you know test drive power you just bring your license they give you a key fob and instructions 
happens. You go inside the car, that's it. Nobody follows you. You're there by yourself. They give you around 20 minutes and you just make sure that you don't crash the car, do anything illegal because I'm sure that you have to pay all the consequences. And if you literally don't know how to use the car, there are tutorials baked inside the car that you could watch on the screen. And I'm sure if you really needed help, you could call one of the employees or the sales rep and they'll help you out. Yo! Oh shit, I told you bro. It's so quick. Oh my God. God. Oh, this is what dreams are made of. This, you see this face? Crazy. This is happiness. Nah, this guy is mad happy. This right is now. happiness right here, man. You can't even talk. <laughs> You can feel it in your belly, like. Yep. See, there's a lot of things I don't like about the Tesla, for example. You know, out a luxurious, expensive car, you could just kick under here to open it, but you have to manually open with the Tesla, which kind of, you know, kind of sucks. But we have a lot of storage in here. This red's actually calling my name. It's not the most aggressive looking car, but I love big body cars, and it's, it's pretty big body. <laughs> it's pretty big body. Time to let my bank account hurt. Alright guys, so I think today is day three. We're here at Mercedes-Benz Canada and I'm gonna look at the AMG 45. Hopefully I could get a test drive in. I'm not a huge Mercedes fan, but I love how the interior looks. One thing I don't like is the infotainment system, but Mercedes has some good cars and if Tesla is not like delivering in time, I might have to go to the AMG route, you know what I'm saying? So let's see how it goes. Now, one thing I have to say is that Mercedes had by far the best looking showroom. Everything looked professional. The cars were lined up perfectly. The staff inside meant business. Everyone was friendly and helped me look around to try to find a car that I liked. But to my surprise, there weren't any AMG CLA 45s in stock, used or new, nothing. They said only one came to this location since year. I did see this AMG A35 that they recommended, but I'm not a fan of the A-Class series. As I said before, I'm new to the car world, so I really thought I could just go in and see at least one CLA 45 on the showroom for me to check out, but no, everything's so loud, and they also have a crazy wait list. But I did still shop around in the store, checked out the pre-owned and also the new section to check out some of the GLE and GLCs that they had, but the prices were just way out of my budget for the AMG SUVs. The trims that they had in stock were going for around 120K and they weren't even new 2022 models. Most of them were 2021s. The build quality is insane. Even though it's an A-Class, it still has that nice interior. The brand new screen. <laughs> it's low-key looking better than the BMW we saw. It's a thin screen, that's what I don't like. I don't know, I love having the big screens right here. I think that's just a techie in me, but this is nice. This is a real, <laughs> a real sports car. Love the Alcantara. 69, basically 70K, like 30K less than the Tesla. I might not be talking too much right now because I'm just taking it all in. It's uh, it's not like one of my dream cars. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm just not a huge fan of Mercedes, but the build quality is just unmatched in this car, guys. I don't know what else to tell you. Even look at this little light, it looks like chandeliers. Like, look at that, insane. You could change up the ambient lighting, all that. I take back everything I said about this. The interior and the infotainment system is actually really nice. Insane. I love that it has the actual buttons that you could press here. When it comes to buying cars, I really love a test drive, but they, they literally have no test drive for this car. It's the only one they have. So yeah, that's that's a big letdown for me as well. Bro, a lot of people be talking about big body GLE. Ain't nobody could buy that boy. 150, 150 grand for this. And it's 2021. 2021, 150 grand. Like, it, it, it looks nice, but god damn. Yo, let me take my broke ass out of this Mercedes dealership, cause Oh hell nah boy. All right, so just test out the i4 M50. Insane car. Like, if I was supposed to choose a car and I could get it right now, 100% pick that over the Tesla. But the techie in me still just love how simplistic and nice the Tesla is. But the i4 M50, it's just like, it's just a, a good looking car. It looks like a normal car. The interior is nice. The sound it makes is crazy for an electric car. Yeah, so I think that's it. That's that's like everything. We checked out the we checked out what Mercedes have. We checked out the Tesla, 
pole star was really good too so let me know down below in the comments what should i get just to be in the position to even to be looking for a car right now is insane so i really appreciate you guys for always sticking around let me know if you like these type of vlogs or not should i stick to just solely tech or you want to see me outside more all right guys take care and hopefully i'll have a picking up a car day vlog soon see ya